Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Mary Kay Chroma Fusion eyeshadow and blush video. So tonight we're doing our awesome and wonderful chocolate palette. Um, tonight I'm going to be using some of our warm metal colors. So I'm going to give people just a few minutes to get on. I'm going to adjust my music a little bit. Give people just a few minutes to get on. Hope everyone had a great and awesome day. Um, why is this turning up? Hope everyone had a great day. I just got home around, I want to say about six or so. I was getting some stuff ready. Um, I'm a teacher by day, like I told you guys. So I had to get some last minute things in for the end of our grading period. So went ahead and got that done. Trying to get things together. Hi, Uncle Sam. Um, so, yeah. So, tonight, you all, I am going to be showing you guys our chocolate palette that we have. Um, this is our warm metals color. So, Chroma Fusion and Mary Kay, we have, when we redid all of our eyeshadows, we did, like, we also paired them with different palettes. So, like, last night, you guys saw a, a couple of the colors from our rose palette which was our rose gold, our dusty rose, and the blossom. Well, tonight, you guys are going to see part of our chocolate uh, palette, which is some of our rose metal colors. So the colors I'm going to be showing you guys tonight is um, uh, the bronze and chocolatey color. So I've already done my face. Today, I did something different again. I used our mineral foundation, so I've already done my face, and I've also already prepped my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with our videos. Like I said, I already did um, our eye primer for our eyes. For my eyes, I also already did our foundation primer as well for my face. And like I said, I just mentioned I did something different. Normally I do liquid, but today I did our top, um, Mary Kay Mineral Foundation. I use bronze too. So, since I've already did my eyes, already got together, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is, like I normally do, and I always tell y'all what brushes I'm using. I'm using our overall brush, which is this brush right here, to put the eyeshadow over my eye. So the first thing that I'm going to be using, which is this beautiful color right here I'm going to show you guys. This is our gold status. This is the one that's going to be all over my eye. So I put this all over my eye. So this is the chocolate one. Like I said, this is our chocolate palette and tonight I'm doing part of it with um, the metal look, the warm metals, which I think is very, very pretty. I actually, actually have two of our palettes. I have our... <coughs> I know we no longer sell these. This is our old compact, and this has the mirror in it, and I love it. So I technically can't get rid of it. So I'm using that, but I like this, our newest one, because it holds all my eyeshadows in it. So I'm kind of like doing both, just a little bit. So like I said, I'll put this all over the eye, and I like our eyeshadows because now, even more, because I don't have to use as much pigment. If that makes any sense. Pretty much the pigments are better and a little bit darker. So instead of me have to reapply like about three or four times for my eyeshadow to get that bold look that I want. This is just two times guys. And this is the gold status. So this is the one that I put all over my eye. So the next one I'm going to use. I'm going to use our eye crease brush to go in the crease. And this next one is this is the shiny penny. Is the one that I'm using. I'm going to also show you guys the color as well. I like to pick them up so you guys can see it. This is our shiny penny. The one I'm going to be using. Next, and this is going to go in the crease of my eye. So I kind of go like this. Ooh, y'all, this is cute. Hope everyone had a blessed day and a blessed week. I know for those of us who are teachers, we all just came back from winter break. If you were anything like me, I was actually sick. 
Hi, I'm skin. Uh, I was actually sick during the week of the spring. Uh, I almost said spring break. Ha! I mean, I'm ready for spring break. I was sick the week of winter break when it first started. So now I'm just like, I'm kind of trying to recuperate just to tab it. So like I said, so the lighter color that you see all over my eyes, this is the Gold Status Chroma Fusion Eyeshadow. And then I went in the crease. Hi. I went in with the crease with my crease brush, which is this right here. I went in with the Gold Status. And this is the brush that I use for this. This is called our all, all Over, I'm sorry, um, brush. I don't know what that. This is our All Over brush right here. So here's the eyeshadow so far. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go back and get my all over brush one more time. And I'm going to, this is called, I want to say, Burn Shadow Bronze. I can never say that right. Let's see how many times you can say that. That's why I'm a history teacher and not English. So, we're going to do this. Make this a little dark, little accent on the eye. And I kind of go a little bit right here. Just a tad. Oh, this is cute, y'all. Ain't nobody good time. Let me stop. This is how I know I've been with my kids all day because I say random stuff. And for those of you who are watching it and know me, yes. You've been around so like, oh, this is so cute, miss. This is cute. Yep. This is actually cute. I like this. So this is the bronze. This is our chocolate palette. So what I'm showing for those who are on, because I can't really see right now because my eyes are kind of closed. Um, this is our chocolate palette with Mary Kay, Chroma Fusion line. We just updated all of our eyeshadows in Mary Kay, so I wanted to show, share it with you all. Fresh. <laughs> um, this is um, the new uh, eyeshadows that just came out. So Mary Kay revamped all of our eyeshadows, all of our lipsticks, all of our blushes, and I think that was an awesome idea for them because it goes with the trends and the times. So this is our warm, subtle metal look, which I like this. This is very subtle. It's not too, too bold. I think it's just right for me. So like I said, the brighter color that you see all over my eye, it is the gold status. <laughs> gold status. The little bronzy look you kind of see kind of mixed in. That is our shiny penny. And then the next one I did was like this brownish gold tint that I have. So after I put my eyeshadow, put it all on, I go in with the clean brush. Either one of these brushes, actually from my other brush set, because um, I have all the brushes in the world. Um, I get a clean brush, make sure the brush is clean, and I, then I blend in my eye. And you guys will look like, oh, we really can't. This is so natural looking. Yes, that's supposed to be. These are warm metal colors, and I really like it. Now, if you want to do it darker, you can totally do that. That's what I'm about to do because I'm extra like this. And sometimes what I normally do with a darker color, I kind of go in the crease a little bit right here in the corner of my eye. I'm trying to get that little extra pop, the extra. This shiny penny is really cute. And I normally don't do these colors, y'all. I'm not, well, for those who know me and have seen my eyeshadow, I'm trying to get bolder with my eyes. My sister, who is also Mary Kay with me, um, she does like the bold, like smoky eye, red lipstick. My sister go all the way through it, go all the way in. And I'm just looking like, this is fine for me right here. Do a new lipstick. But now I'm trying to embrace <laughs> these colors. So, like I said, I went over with a clean brush to kind of blend it in. And here is the part of the chocolate palette, which is our warm, the key word is warm, our warm color. So, here it is, part of it. So, now let's go ahead and do our eyeliner, get that in. This is our liquid eyeliner pen. This is what I use. So I'll go over. Now I mentioned on the video prior to, if anyone is better than, with the wing part, I'm trying to do better. But uh, Ray Ray, this is on my column. I'm trying to get better with it. I was actually watching late last night. Um, I was getting some stuff ready for school the next day. 
and I was looking at this girl on YouTube and she was doing the wing eye. She was like, bam. And I was looking like, really? You just did it like that? Ain't nobody got time. Made me look like <laughs> I was trying to try to do it with and this thing was like, I'm like, okay, I got to get better. So this is more simple for me. So that's our liquid eyeliner. This right here is our regular eyeliner. I use the black. Some people, now we do have like the deep brown uh, color. We do have that for those who like the dark brown. Me, I'll go ahead and do the black. Don't laugh at me how my face is doing it. We chop it down. This is cute. I'm feeling this. Sorry, y'all. I say random stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, this is cute. And the bad part is I have a little mirror right here. I have this big mirror right here. So I see a little bit of the effect here. But then I look at the mirror. It's like, bam. It's like all right there in my face. Now, what I'm gearing to do also, I'm gearing to use our Lash Intensity Mascara. This is the one that I've pretty much been using all week. Um, for the past couple of videos. This is my fourth video. Very excited. My fourth video. This is our Lash Intensity Mascara. I love the bristles on this brush because it really magnifies my lashes. I don't wear false eyelashes. Ray Ray can't do it. Just can't. It's not my forte. Uh, so what I normally do is I use these. We also have our Mary Kay Lash Love. We have the regular mascara. We have the Lash Lengthening uh, Mascara, and we also have the Lash uh, Love uh, Waterproof Mascara. I normally wear the Waterproof Mascara when I go to church, because sometimes when you just think about what God has done for you throughout the week, and you know, you just know, and you start crying, and you know how people start crying, you see a little blessed because they didn't wear Waterproof Mascara. Now, sometimes I can't cry a little hard, and it goes, back, goes past that, but hey, just saying. Okay, I love this mascara because it makes my eyelashes super, super bold. I have long eyelashes. Now, true confessions, everybody ready? When I was a kid, my dad did not let me wear a mascara. I tell this story often. He says he can't believe I did it, but oh well. So, for those who don't know, my dad's a pastor. So, preacher man um, did not really allow me and my sister to wear like makeup so that mascara. He said, you know, y'all you know, be your age and everything. I was getting older. Well, my lashes, they curl in. When I was growing up, my eyelashes would grow so long they would start curling in. So I would use the eyelash curlers. I would use Vaseline. My dad did not let us wear mascara. So I was trying to be a smart aleck. Kids, don't do this. I was trying to be a smart aleck, so I cut my lashes. Yes, I just said it, Rachel. Cut her lashes. That's what I did. So my lashes grew back extra not as full but just as full so this lash intensity mascara really gets them popping i love it i love it i love it and i put a little bit at the bottom but not too too much i don't put too much at the bottom no girl yes i did i did i cut my lashes i was trying <sighs> Y'all don't understand, Rachel's, okay, so my hair, if y'all see this, for those who have seen my hair when it's curly and it's poofy, my hair is thick, my lashes were thick, and my lashes grew long. So my lashes grew long, but then they start to curl. I don't know why, but they just did. So, since the preacher man did not let me wear mascara, I cut them off. They're, I didn't cut them off too bad, like, in fact, they look bald, but I just, like, trimmed them down, and I was just like, my dad said, what in the world did you do? I'm like, daddy, like, my lashes are long. So, far, he's like, no, they're not. So, my dad paid attention one day. He was like, okay, we're going to have to get you fixed. <laughs> I'm like, really? That's messed up. Thanks, dad. So, now, we're going to go ahead really quick, and we're going to do our Chroma Fusion Blush. Now, this one I'm using tonight is called Wine Berry. I'm going to use it. I actually put it on right here so you guys can actually see the pigment on it i put it on a cotton wrap so you guys can really really see it this is the bold color that i have for it i think this is really really pretty i normally don't um i wear those dark uh colors on my cheeks but not too too often so i'm just going to put a little bit of blush on my cheek i don't really don't do too much just enough and i do the fish look And I'm not too much of a blush girl, but just a little bit, just to see. As you can see, this is kind of subtle because I normally don't do these colors. So, 
This is the Chroma Fusion. So like I said, we have the Chroma Fusion eyeshadow and the Chroma Fusion blush. I already had, I already went ahead and did my lip primer because we do have a lip primer as well. This is our age fighting lip primer. So you know how sometimes people kind of get lines and stuff around their lips or on their lip line? Um, this is our lip primer that we have. So I went ahead right before the video and I went ahead and I did um, the lip primer on my lips. So now we're getting ready to do the red. So the one picture I posted, everybody kind of freaked out, which I don't know why. Hey, Erica. I'm oh, sorry, I don't call it hey, green. <laughs> That's what I do, I call it hey, green. Um, I normally don't wear red. And my Mary Kay uh, sisters were like, girl, you should wear red. My Mary Kay director, I called her T. T said, you should wear red. Rachel don't wear red. I posted that, that picture of me with the red. Everybody went ballistic. Girl, you wear red. I'm like, really? Get your life. So I'm doing red again. This is our semi shine. We have a matte finish. We have a semi matte and we have a semi shine. This is our scarlet red. I'm about to put this on. Let's see how this looks. And we need to pray for God's healing in Jesus' name. Y'all ready? I don't know if I really want to put this on. I don't wear red. But here we go. Woo-wee. Y'all, <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> so this is the look or the lipstick that's supposed to go with the warm palette. So this is the scarlet red. I tried the red. Cannot be saying I'm looking at my face now in the big mirror. Good God Almighty. Okay. It's different. Like I said, I'm not really a red girl. This is different. When I probably get off the video, my whole family's going to be like, what? You just put red on? My family even knows that Richard don't wear red. So, now after I do that, <laughs> like I'll get on so squirrel. Um, after I do that, I go ahead and I use our Reviving Finish uh, Facial Spray. Now, normally this spray, but my spray has not come in. We normally have the little black bottle. That's called our Finishing Spray that I spray on my face after I do my makeup. And this is like something that you use throughout the day. Like I say, if you go to work, you have your makeup on, and you go somewhere later on that evening, you do this spray. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face just with this. Just a little bit. And I kind of fan it. Just a tap. And that's how I do my face. So everyone, what y'all think? <laughs> Why you don't need this red, y'all? I'm just looking in this mirror like I'm feeling the warm colors. So just to recap to everyone, this is our part of our chocolate palette that we have in Mary Kay with Chroma Fusion. My eyes are the Full lid is with the gold status. The little dark, little, no, it's not a dark, the medium bronze looking color is our shiny penny that I put on my eye. And then I put a little bit of this burning bronze brown. I'm probably not saying that color right, so I will recap on this and correct it later if I'm wrong, which I don't mind being wrong. Here I make mistakes. So then what I did was on the apples of my cheek, I used the wine berry on my cheek. Because we not only have Chroma Fusion eyeshadows, we have Chroma Fusion blush. And then I topped it off with our Semi Shine. Woo, y'all. Scarlet Red. Went ahead and did this Scarlet Red, baby. <laughs> I actually did the red. Now, if you want to have it as a matte finish, which sometimes I do, we have a translucent powder. And what I do is I get a little bit of the power. I have some on my lid right here. Kind of go like this, and I pat it on my lips to give it a matte look so it won't. I'm serious, I'm putting this on my lips. So it has more of a matte look or matte finish than a shine. So now instead of the extra shiny, you see it's matte. I think I did pretty good. 
All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it. I'm trying to get better as far as cutting my videos in half because what I really want you to do is focus in on the look. So if you guys like whatever anything that you saw on the video tonight, uh, please uh, private message me or text me or um, send me an email. I will also put my information in the description box uh, when I post this so you guys can check it out later on. If you guys would like to book with me, book an appointment with me, you can also let me know that in a private message or a text, and I would love to show you all the rest of the colors. So throughout the, um, the next couple of weeks, what I'm going to be doing is going to be picking different color palettes, and I will be posting them here online. I did one last night with the rose gold palette, and tonight I did the warm metals with our chocolate palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time, and like I said, if there's anything that you saw or something else that, hey, Rachel, I didn't see this in your video, but do you have this? You most definitely can do that as well. And just FYI, I'm not going to keep our, number one, I'm not just going to have the eyeshadow and not show you our wonderful oil free makeup remover. So when I get out this video before I go to bed on the night, I'll be taking this off with this wonderful bad boy here. This thing is awesome. This even, um, if you have like that tough, uh, waterproof mascara this even helps with this as well this stuff is awesome so if there's anything that you saw tonight that you like message me and I will definitely take care of you and I will also put my website on there so you can shop online as well so thank you guys so much for watching hey Brittany uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, my video tonight if you guys have any questions let me know um, I will not be back on until next Thursday. Um, oh, really cool. Girl, message me, girl. I got you. I got you. Um, if you uh, will see me next week, I don't know if I'm going to do either Thursday or Friday or a Thursday and a Saturday or Friday or Saturday, but I'm going to try to post at least two videos a week so you guys can see the looks that I have and so you guys can get a variety of different things. So, like I said, I think I did pretty good. I'm liking this. I'm trying to let myself settle a little bit because I just realized I got this bold red on my lips I'm not a red person I'm trying to so for those of you who are working me today that saw the red that was a step in my growth y'all for 2019 dear Jesus because red is not my color um but I guess it is and I actually like it with this look so I probably said I'm getting ready to go like three or four times total squirrel so thank you guys for watching <laughs> You guys have a blessed evening, blessed weekend. Um, if I might post a couple of pics tomorrow to show you the different colors I wear throughout the weekend. And I look forward to, uh, thank you. Thanks, Britt. Um, I will look forward to seeing you guys next week. I will post, um, have a post on it to let you know the days I am going to do it. And um, show you the colors on there as well. So, you guys have a blessed weekend. You guys be great. Go in peace, go in love. Bye.